it's really no different than what I do for myself. Where's their primary anxieties? You know, it, where's your CFO really feeling overwhelmed? And what you're getting the feeling of, uh, Gary, is my culture, which is humility is our first pillar. Mm -hmm. I, I need people who can be vulnerable because that's the only way we provide massive support. Yep. If you get into like this corporate politics, blaming others, not showing your weaknesses, I actually don't know how to help you. Yeah. Um, and neither does the rest of the team. So I think one of the most powerful things you can build into your culture is people who are willing to admit where their anxieties, vulnerabilities, lack of capabilities are. Because what they'll notice is if you've got a good culture is a massive amount of support and resources come to um, to help you. Listen, if if Ken Kaufman comes to me and says, I'm really struggling here, here, and here. Can you help me? Do you really think I'm going to be like, well, I'll just get another CFO. <laughs> you know, it's like, that is but ridiculous. that has to be fostered right? from the top down, right? So the, to your point, that atmosphere has to be fostered. And that comes from, that comes from having um, trust and healthy conflict and being able to work through those things. And, and if you don't have that, then it's like, to your point, it's really hard to help that. So I, I, I love that answer. That's I, I do think Kim Scott's book, Radical Candor, is mm -hmm. very helpful for CEOs to be better communicators. Some of us just aren't assertive enough um, in our communication. Some of us are pretty jerky. We've read mm -hmm. too many Steve Jobs books, you know, um, <laughs> so... We need to figure out the right way to be able to push our team and say, hey, I notice you're, you're not succeeding here. How can I support you? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, where they feel like I appreciate you exposing me and I actually appreciate the help yeah. rather than, wow, this scares me. You know? mm, I love that. Um, okay. So what are your thoughts about some of these dental practices potentially going public um, and maybe someday other, you know, if you're, I don't know where you're at with that, where mentally, what do you think of that? Is that a good thing, a bad thing? Um, you know, it's a financing solution, right? I think this industry has gotten a little caught up on like private equity and going public and so forth. I mean, it's like having an opinion of bank of America versus Wells Fargo versus <laughs> It's, it's a financing solution that if it fulfills the in, helping you fund the impact that mm -hmm. you're trying to have and your impact is, is done well, mm -hmm. then I think it's fabulous.